Hey everyone, I'm here at Brick Houston and I had to do another one of these, a kettlebell workout. This kettlebell not only burns calories, but it tones your body. A kettlebell is a great piece of equipment, mostly it's because you can go heart rate with it and you can also get into actual lifts. With those different dynamics, you can really put a good workout in, you know, in 45 minutes to an hour long session, just with really one piece of equipment. The kettlebell swing is going to really initiate from your hips. Your arms and your upper body are really just a pendulum. It can go all the way to a full overhead is called the American style kettlebell swing. Right to eye level or somewhere at the head is a Russian style. So the squat swing is actually the way we pick up the kettlebell. We always like to be about a foot or two away from it, and that lets us drop our hips and keep our torso upright. The way you pick it up is the way the squat swing works. And this gets glutes and the hamstrings as well. Also starts to introduce the front of your leg, so really get a full leg workout. So a deadlift, your feet are a little wider than your hip stance, and then your hands will be right in between your legs. From this position, we like to slide bend the knees, a big hinge over, tapping the bells on the floor, and then standing back up. Goblet squats where we're holding the bell at the chest level. You really want to pull your shoulder blades back and keeping your torso as vertical as you can on this one. Sending your hips back and down, making sure the knees don't track over the toes is the goal. The kettlebell row is where we're hinging at our hips, slight bend in our knees, the bell is almost to the floor and they're pulling up to the bottom of the rib cage. And then you're just staying in that position with your torso back and forth with your arms from full extension all the way pulling up to the bottom of the rib cage.